We're already in the top. Enemy down. Of the enemy. Got you. Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Tricky Acid and welcome back to another Apex Legends video. In this vid, I am going to give my thoughts on the new Battle Pass that just dropped for Apex Legends and letting you know if it's worth grabbing or not. So let's get started. First things first, let's talk about how the Battle Pass works. So every three months, there will be a new Battle Pass season, potentially with a new character and other new exclusive unlocks. And regardless of what level you are, I'm level 35 for example, the Battle Pass has its own leveling system, all the way to level 100, so they're both separate from each other. And as I'm going through the various levels and unlocks, you can look at the rewards from skins, voices, extra XP boosts, purple to even golden gear loot boxes, you name it, it's all there for you to unlock. And there is even a special evolving skin for the Havoc, which changes its appearance every time you kill someone with it. However, you need to reach level 100 on the Battle Pass to unlock it. But what is awesome is that throughout these unlocks, you also earn Apex Coins, which is the microtransaction currency for Apex Legends. And if you manage to reach level 97 on the Battle Pass, you'll earn yourself back what you paid for, the base Battle Pass in the first place. And then you'll also be ready to purchase the next season. So it's a nice way of saying, the more you play, the more you unlock, and the fact that if you reach a certain threshold, as in level 97 on the battle pass, you won't have to pay real money for the next one. So far, so good. And another thing to keep in mind is that these rewards will never be available again after the season is over. So if there is anything you'd specifically like to grab, you better reach that level since it will never come back again. Now let's talk about the price. The Battle Pass comes in two options, the standard Battle Pass which includes all potential unlocks and three skins, one each for Wraith, Lifeline and Mirage and it's going for 950 Apex Coins which is the equivalent of nearly £8. However if you go for the Battle Pass bundle it's the Battle Pass plus you'll get an additional 25 levels added on, so you will have 25 levels worth of unlocks immediately, and you'll be ahead of those who only went for the base battle pass. However, you need to pay 2,800 Apex points, or coins I should say, to unlock that. Personally, I'd say it's not worth going for the bundle pack and just stick with the basic battle pass. Sure, you get an additional 25 levels straight away, but honestly, you can save yourself a lot of money by just, you know, playing the game because you'll end up reaching level 25 and over anyway as long as you're committed to playing Apex and if you are considering the battle pass then you probably are a dedicated fan anyway so save your money and just stick with the base version. Also another awesome thing is that thanks to the battle pass you can earn weekly XP for each character by just surviving. So the longer you stay alive in any game with any of these characters, you will earn up to 25,000 battle points per character, which will be used to help you level up the battle pass. And it's nice that it caps at 25,000 for each character as it will encourage you to try different characters as well to take advantage of that extra XP. Octane is also the brand new character to the collection. He's high flying and he's super fast and I will have a more detailed video on him pretty soon so stay tuned for that. But with all that said, that sums up this video. There's nothing more to say really besides the fact that if you are going for the battle pass, save your money I'd say and just stick with the base version. But it's totally up to you and hopefully this video cleared up any queries you had on the battle pass. Be sure to like, comment below, and subscribe guys, and I'll catch all of you next time.